Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andy with We Run Guns. And today I have a pretty cool product to show you guys. It's from a company called Sofern. They're cool enough to send this to me. And I really think, and I'm hopeful that it's gonna be a lot of value because it's 1200 lumens, rechargeable 18650 battery, 200 uh, meter distance that it could go to. And what I really like about it is the different modes. It has a five lumen mode, like a really eco-friendly mode that goes for 291 hours. And then all the way, of course, on the turbo mode, it has 1200 lumens lasting, let's see, two hours and 37 minutes. So let's open it up and check it out. So here we got some product information. And what I really like about it, and hopefully you guys like as well, is the value of it with the price. So this light is coming in at $35.99, you know, subject to change at this moment on Amazon. I'll drop links below so you guys can check it out and you can see other people's reviews on it as well. But I do plan on taking this out into the field, doing some real testing with it. So if you guys like these kind of videos, please like, share, subscribe, and let's get started. So we can see here, obviously, this is probably how you'll change your settings. And the back is probably on and on. I really haven't had a chance to really like read too much on it. I'm kind of going to figure it out as we go. So... We do have our big 18650 battery already in there. So let's make sure, oh look, see we wanna take that out of course. So that's to make sure the battery isn't dead on arrival, which is always nice. So what I really like that I noticed off the bat is that we have this here protecting the back so it won't go off automatically. And we do have some linear loops here, which are always pretty cool. Some people like to carry those in their pocket. This appears to be removable and you could just clip it on, you know, as you want in your pocket. And of course the face is protected. So let's turn it on. Let's see, I'm not sure what, what setting this is, but you can see a red line, a red dot here, at least initially. And let's just hold it. Okay, so that's strobe. So holding it is strobe. This seems like an SOS mode. And let me hold it. And then now we're going through the different settings. Okay, so this appears to be our eco mode, our low mode, which is 50 lumens. So originally it was five, now 50, 160, 500, and 1200. So maybe you can't see it as well here on the table, but we're gonna be taking it out to the field and doing some testing with it. And then, yeah, so whatever the last setting it was on, you know, that's the one you're gonna have. And I do like how it has some momentary, so you don't have to click it in all the way to use it. So that's always a pretty cool feature. You can see how it lights up, the ability to change. And of course, here your recharger, which is always really nice, then you don't have to worry about going out and buying batteries. And a lanyard loop. So I was just mentioning it, I didn't even see this when I first opened it. So here's our lanyard loop, pretty nice. And you know, some people like to use it, some don't, you know, personal preference. Personally, I normally don't use them, but you know, I know a lot of people that do and no problem with that. So that's pretty much how it looks. I want to take it out into the field. I want to compare it to a few other lights that I have and see if it's really worth it. Okay, I just want to demonstrate how it would look in your pocket. So that's pretty much all it shows pretty much the top. You could easily pull it out and use it. So I had it set last on my low mode, but obviously I could cycle through. And there's my turbo 1200 lumens and just puts, you know, fits in right there pretty nicely with the clip. I want to put it in my back pocket, which some people also like to do. And I actually don't mind as long as it's off to the side. That way when I sit down, it doesn't bother me. But that's pretty much all sticking up. You know, really easy to grab out of your pocket. Not exactly hidden, but you know, it has the advantage of easily being withdrawn out. And as you can see here, charging is very simple. All you gotta do is plug it in, put your battery on, and you have a little red light letting you know that you are charging. Another nice feature about it is that it is waterproof, at least to the extent of IPX8 rated, which typically means that you could submerge it in water for one meter. So it could literally be one meter in the water and shouldn't have any issues. So just running under my sink. I'm not really gonna dunk it, but just so you know, you know that's pretty much the extent that you could expect from it. So always pretty cool. It gets rainy, whatever, don't have to worry about it. So it also comes with two extra O-rings, which is always a nice extra to have. So we're at a baseball park late at night, and this is pretty much from the pitcher to the home base, and this is with the uh, Sorfin. It's about approximately 20 yards, 1,200 lumens. 
How does it feel? Blinding. Blinding? Can you see me? All right, can't see me. All right. So Surefire EDCL 2T. And there's the sore fin. You can see this one has, you know, a pretty hot spot towards the center, but then a good flooding on the outside. Okay, so now I'm on second base and this is going to home base. And this is with the sore fin. So with the sore fin, you can see our participant over here at home base. Not as clearly obviously, but you could definitely see there's a person there. And honestly, the camera doesn't really do it justice. You could honestly see the person, you know, pretty well and I could easily see, you know, what's in the hands. And that's at home base. And here's the sword fin from about 75 yards away. So you could easily see the individual there. So this is a Surefire EDCL 2T from about 75 yards away. Okay, our willing participant is still at home base. I cannot see him from here at all. So let's see if the light helps. This is the Sorfin from approximately 150 yards away. It's a little difficult, but you could definitely tell out the figure. I wouldn't know for sure if he had a weapon or not in his hand. And again, this is the Sorfin. So for comparison, I have the Surefire EDCL 2T from 150 yards away. And again, you can see a shape, but it's difficult to tell if you had a weapon or not. I wouldn't say this is the ideal distance to use the, this light for. So I'm about seven feet away, and I thought it'd be important to show how the Sofrin looks, you know, within a closer distance, maybe a self-defense type of distance. So there it is. You can see the hot spot and you can see the type of flooding you, you could expect on the outside. And also for comparison, I'm going to compare it to the Surefire EDCL 2T, which is also 1200 lumens. So there you can see it's obviously just looks a little tighter. Probably, you know, more for throw. And then this one on top, a little more for flood. You could also see the difference in the hue and the color and the difference in the size of the hot spot. So that's just the Sofrin EDCL 2T, the Sofrin, and then on top there, EDCL 2T. Okay, so my final impressions with this light is that it's pretty good for EDC. I especially like the fact that, you know, you go through different modes. Uh, I would say that this is probably best suited for that purpose, you know, for multi-purpose. You want to like cycle through different settings. You know, like having that low setting that could go for such a long time is pretty interesting and it's nice to have that. So it's pretty good for that. I also like the fact that it has a lot of flooding. If that's what you're interested in, this is a good flooding type of light. Obviously, it's also a good value for what you're paying. So, you know, being it is what it is. So and you had uh, the clip and, you know, it's just, you know, laying your loops, just little details like that that make the light, you know, worthwhile for someone that, you know, is looking for these specific features. So that's pretty much it. I like it. Haven't had any issues with it so far. If, uh, if I do an update in the future or if I ever have any issues, I'll let you all know. But so far, so good. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. WRG, out.